Hello students, so coming back to chapter number 11 that is biotechnology, principle and processes. So in this video class, we will discuss about the tools of recombinant DNA technology. Okay? And in previous class, we have learned about the basic process of biotechnology and recombinant DNA technology. And from that, we have learned that the various tools which are required for recombinant DNA technology are donor, uh, restriction enzyme, vector, DNA ligase, host and polymerase. And here, this donor and host organism, uh, these two does not require any further discussion, okay? And for DNA ligase and polymerase, for these two enzymes, we will study in chapter number 6. But I will give you all the important points related to polymerase and DNA ligase, okay? And for this chapter, uh, among, and among the tools, we are going to discuss only two points, that is restriction enzyme and vector. And for today's video class, we will discuss only restriction enzyme, okay? Aduna Nasiki class, Aquina Nagata say, Kariki Matang, the no Hakanda about the tools of recombinant DNA technology. And the tools Hakanda Karikari Dakar, Taga Hepataragadi, donor, restriction enzyme, vector, then DNA ligase, host, and polymerase. So this is the host and donor, CKCD, in details of we discussed or alloy. Aduga polymerase and for ligase, we will discuss in details in chapter number six. Adubu I will give you all the important points okay, related to polymerase and DNA ligase. For this uh, chapter, what we are going to discuss is, uh, we are going to discuss about restriction enzyme and vector. I will discuss about this tools. I will discuss only restriction enzyme. Okay? Now come to restriction enzyme. First come to the discovery about this restriction enzyme. So in 1963, a scientist by the name Erber uh, isolated two types of enzyme from E. coli, uh, which help to protect itself from the attack of bacteriophage. So here, bacteriophage is a virus which can infect bacteria, and one of the enzyme is known as restriction endonuclease, and this enzyme can cut the DNA at specific location, and thus the enzyme can restrict the growth and division of bacteriophage and because of this the bacteria is protected from the bacteriophage and other enzyme is methylase and this enzyme can add methyl group to the bacterial dna and thus the bacterial dna will be protected from the action of restriction enzyme okay like this uh, this enzyme which can cut the dna there is restriction endonucleus enzyme was discovered aduna restriction enzyme have a say hana Abur have a scientist amana E. coli have a bacteria to give extract to give. The high E. coli is a key, matam to the enzyme and a extract to be one is restriction endonuclease and one is methylase. Our high restriction endonuclease naka do gay hakanda bacteriophage have a virus which can infect the bacteria. My DNA is a cut to one and DNA cut to one of the other there will be no infection. Okay, aduga methylase has naka do gay hakanda. Bacterial DNA do adra methyl group option biraga nasagi restriction endonucleus enzyme which can cut the DNA adogi protection people. So my told an ihan hana restriction enzyme say bacteria they discovered of give. Sagi puramu kangabuniko bacteria can on the prokaryotic organism that means restriction enzyme are produced by prokaryotic organism. Don't forget this point, okay? Aduga hariba restriction enzyme sing say they belong to a class which is known as nucleus. And this nucleus is of two types. One is endonuclease and one is exonuclease. So when you come to exonuclease, it is an enzyme which can cut or which can break the DNA or nucleic acid at the end of the molecule. nucleus enzyme exonucleus. Now another one is endonuclease. So this is an enzyme which can cut DNA somewhere in the interior or we can say that this is an enzyme which can cut dna from inside at a specific position arita di maramal ta katongami ba nucleus enzyme do kanano endo nucleus enzyme ba so into the na sagi dna katong enzyme ani legani exo and endo aduna akwena biotic ta maru sine se kanana kan it is restriction endo nucleus enzyme next i will give you some important point related to uh, dna polymerase and dna ligase uh, this you will study in detail in chapter number six, but here I'll give you some important point. Okay, 
So coming to DNA polymerase, this is the enzyme which is required for the replication of DNA. And we know that DNA will be made up of nucleotide and this nucleotide will be added by polymerase. So this polymerase is responsible for replication of DNA. Okay. Now come to DNA ligase. The function of this DNA ligase is to catalyze the joining of DNA fragment. Okay. So DNA fragment can be joined together with the help of another enzyme that is DNA ligase. Aduna. When DNA is divided over replicate the enzyme, the enzyme is the enzyme is the polymerase. The DNA is the nicotine, the polymerase is the nicotine. The DNA DNA is the DNA fragment. The joint is the DNA fragment. The DNA is the DNA DNA ligase. So, this is some important point related to DNA polymerase and DNA ligase. Until now, about 900 resurrection enzyme has been isolated from 230 types of bacteria. And of these 900 resurrection enzyme, uh, only two resurrection endonucleus is given in our textbook as an example. So here one is HIN2. And the point is that this HIN2, it is the uh, first discovered resurrection endonucleus enzyme. And another one is ECO R1. And all the explanation about uh, resurrection enzyme will be based on ECO R1. Okay. And in exam, if example is asked, then you can give either HIN2 or ECO R1. Then, how do you 900 resurrection enzymes here? Isolate the from 230 types of bacteria. That is, 900 types of bacteria. So, like the film, you can see that you can see that HIN2 and ECO R1 are the example of the cow. Every explanation is based on ECO R1 and ECO R1 are based on ECO R1. And every uh, restriction enzyme, they can recognize a specific nucleotide sequence, mainly composed of four to six nucleotide, where the enzyme can cut the DNA. So this specific base sequence where the enzyme can cut the DNA is known as recognition sequence. That means recognition sequence is that specific base sequence where the restriction enzyme will cut the DNA. And another important point is that this recognition sequence are areas in palindrome so here you should know what is palindrome so palindrome means a group of letters that form the same word when read both forward or backward so when this is applied to dna it means that the two strands of dna should possess the same base sequence okay but in opposite fashion aduna enzyme kudimaksa moina dna ka tawdeni adu moina Recognize the number particular base sequence. I'm like a neighbor. I do give base sequence though. We call it recognition sequence. Kawe outta di tonga tonba enzyme kutima ki my tonga tonga ke legani recognition sequence like a neighbor. The hybrid recognition sequence here is to be arranged in palindrome. I do palindrome the arranged though. But the kaino kanga ita di palindrome se kaino kama munda kata ita na palindrome ita mani mama paabe ya bhane. For example, madam madam hai kanda. It can read both forward and backward. We have an example. My daughter Nanga Sagi Leiba sequence to palindrome. Like the Adui Taga di DNA di double stranded over in a DNA strand and it on my sequence. So some man like the webra in opposite direction. We have a Adui Taga di Adukan palindrome. We have Adui Taga no important point di enzyme kutima. They will have their own recognition sequence and that recognition sequence to be arranged in palindrome. Next come to nomenclature of restriction enzyme. That is about the naming of the enzyme. And here every enzyme is named after the organism from which the enzyme has been isolated. particular organism do my So to understand this, let us take one example of restriction enzyme that is eco R1. So here this eco R1 it is enzyme which has been isolated from Escherichia coli RY13 and here the first letter of the enzyme that is E it represent the first letter of the genome that is Escherichia and the next two letter of the enzyme that is CO it represent the first two letter of the species that is coli and next letter that is R it represent the strand of the bacterium that is RY13 and the last Roman number uh, indicate the order of identification or uh, order of discovery of that enzyme in that particular organism. Una nomenclature se understand when example learning example se kanano ekan eco R1. 
Hari be eco or one say particular beta am the extra to bunny beta canano escaricia are white thirteen high and this the eco or one gi my first letter e is a cana represent to bunny magi generic name genus name to represent of the days escaricia gi first letter to the next two letters c o say sina cana represent to give and the species to gi first two letter represent of the and next letter R say canano my strain to name my type to name R Y thirteen to the R to name. Rugmani the Piriba Roman number do Aduna Kari indicate in a candanga say particular organism do Adagi Lotopa a hambani an issue bunny habito Adu enzyme do hamani issue adu indicate to the So this is about the naming of resurrection enzyme. Now come to action of resurrection enzyme. So here we will see how an enzyme cut the DNA. And for this, we will take one example that is eco R1, and we will see here how eco R1 cut the DNA. And we also know that the recognition sequence for eco R1 is GAATTC, in which uh, the two strands of DNA are arranged in palindrome. And here, the en enzyme that is eco R1 will cut the DNA in between two nitrogen bases between G and A of its recognition sequence. Aduna. Resistant enzyme amana DNA do point cut to have the understand to another example or younger than any example can I can equal R1 ni aroga equal R1 gi recognition sequence can I know can GAA TTC however say magi recognition sequence to the palindrome to aliens of any duga as I equal R1 na DNA se cut to kind of cry cut to any hack and the nitrogen base any cut cut to any carbon nitrogen base can the ziga ega any sigi character man cut to any now come to the main point. So this eco R1, this will cut the DNA at the backbone uh, of its recognition sequence and they cut the DNA away from the center, not in the center and between the same nitrogen bases on the opposite strand, that is between G and A, okay. And as this enzyme cut the DNA away from the center, definitely a short single stranded DNA will be produced and this short single stranded overhanging DNA is known as sticky end. Uh, eco R1 na DNA katomatam da magi particular recognition sequence to the mana katomatam da they do not cut the DNA in the center. Katone kanda they cut the DNA away from the center. Adusu kray da between the same nitrogen bases of the opposite strand. On a kray katokan ziga e le katokane. On away from the center katorobanina definitely single strand oiba DNA matin proso oiba. Aduki single strand oiba DNA matin to kari kore. We call it sticky end. Okay. So to produce recombinant DNA, both foreign DNA, there is donor DNA and beta DNA have to be cut by same resistant enzyme. And if the two DNA are cut by same resistant enzyme, then definitely the sticky end that they produce will be complementary to each other. And if they are complementary to each other, then they can be easily joined together by another enzyme that is DNA ligase okay, to form recombinant DNA. Like this, recombinant DNA can be produced. As I recommend DNA form to get the donor so there is for the DNA so vector DNA so same enzyme cut the bombs and same enzyme cut the robin in a mono producer by sticky and any door but I'm okay any complementary or any complementary to open a DNA like a synergy joint of your honey to form recombinant DNA so like this recombinant DNA will be produced so this is how resistant enzyme cut the DNA and these uh, two cut DNA fragment can be again joined together by DNA ligase to form recombinant DNA. Okay, and the uh, figure given here so the action of resurrection enzyme. Next, come to gel electrophoresis. So, after DNA is cut out by resurrection enzyme, fragment of DNA are produced, and from this fragment of DNA, the desired DNA can be isolated and can be separated out through gel electrophoresis. Uh, resistant enzyme na cut up DNA fragments in door at the gi a palm of DNA the open a candle for your agony can do get a dip in a convert procedure follow to any account that gel electrophoresis a follow to any help and this gel electrophoresis it is a technique of separation of SARS molecule like DNA and RNA under influence of electric field okay and here we will allow the negative SARS DNA to move towards the negative pole and for this a medium or a matrix will be required and nowadays the commonly used matrix is agarose which is polysaccharide and which is extracted from seaweeds so in this technique the medium is converted into an electric field uh, with cathode and anode at the two end of the uh, medium and here 
the negatives are DNA, they are added towards the negative pole and this DNA being negative cells definitely they will move towards the positive side of the native and this agarose has a sieving effect and because of this the DNA fragment will move through the pore of the agarose cell and as the DNA fragment move definitely the smaller DNA fragment will move faster than the larger DNA fragment because of this the DNA fragment will be randomly arranged aduna si ke tenis to ise karino har ka din ga sai medium do agarose medium se electric field convert bani point to roka and amana negative polo hale and amana to rea positive polo hale ni ruka dna fragment sing do negative charge par bani na negative polo na tham bani bhai ba negative charge ba dna sing do dna fragment do ni they will move towards the positive pole randomly move to bhor onebo ado simu to motam ka to ka kanda na sai gi एगरोस है सी दी सिविंग इफेक्ट है है बट दी एगरोस ही माय मोन मर्ट द पोर में मियाँगा नी सी पोर्स ही फॉर गा डीएनए फ्रेमेंट सी मुफ्त तो बताने पर अधुना मुफ्त तो मत तंदा का दवानी डीएनए फ्रेमेंट द स्मॉलर एवर फ्रेमेंट सिंग दो देव मुफ्त फास्टर देन दी लार्जर फ्रेमेंट अधुना ना साइकी मेडियम सिदा and in this randomly arranged DNA fragment, you cannot visualize the DNA, okay? And if you want to visualize the DNA, uh, staining is required. And this staining will be performed with a compound known as ethidium bromide. And after that, uh, again, you cannot visualize the DNA in normal light. And it has to be visualized through UV radiation, okay? And after that, uh, you can cut out the desired DNA from the agrocell and that process is called illusion. Hai lagi pada DNA fragment sing dulu aku ina DNA do visualize supaya kamu apa, anda visualize supaya kita kita dokumen sengi, kita anda stain dokumen sengi, aduh na question kamu pelajari, kan ada stain tu kan ini, anda compound itu stain tu kan ini, entah ni mau dek compound itu ethidium bromide, compound itu stain tu kan ini mau DNA ufangir web normal light, aduh na kita dokumen kita tarik, it need to be exposed to the UV light, anda UV light tu exposed atau ufangan ni, after that from that agarose cell you can cut out the desired dna okay and that process is called illusion so this is everything about gel electrophoresis so this bring me to the end of this class and today in this class uh, we have discussed everything about restriction enzyme okay about its action about nomenclature and we also discuss how the dna fragment can be isolated through gel electrophoresis and hope you can understand it's an every point and thank you very much for your attention